What's up y'all? Good morning and welcome to another Get It All Done. Good morning. It is a Friday morning and it's a work day. However, we have a lot of stuff to do throughout the day and also later on in the day. And it starts this morning. It is 7.20 in the morning and I'm in the middle of a one mile a day challenge. I'm on day 16 and it's early, but I was laying in bed and I'm like, let's just get it over with. I'm gonna go for a run and I'm going to attempt pretty long run longer than what I normally do so uh, kind of nervous kind of excited but that's the first thing on our list that we need to get done is this run and once I get back I'm gonna shower and everything and then we'll get into our usual so let's go so I'm complete I'm all sweaty and disgusting but the run got done and that's all that matters and it is only eight o'clock on the dot and I'm already done with my workout. This is how I like to do it because now I have the rest of the day to just chill out. To just chill out, well, not chill out because we got a lot of stuff to get done, but y'all know what I mean. <laughs> like, I, I like working out in the mornings. It's hard to drag your butt out of bed, but when it's done, it's done and you ain't got nothing else to worry about. Like, that's it for your day. So, um, today, we have a nice little list of stuff to do today. I'm gonna get showered, I'm gonna make my coffee, and I'll let you guys know what you need to do. It is noon right now, but we're gonna get this started and get to moving. There's a lot of stuff to do today. Let me just read you off my to-do list. I keep getting emails. We actually sent out our save the dates for our Cancun wedding next year. This stuff is getting oily already, honey. Trying a new foundation. It ain't it. It ain't it for me right now. But anyway, we sent out our save the dates this morning and I'm so excited, so I keep getting emails back. But anyway, I'm gonna read you off my list of things that we need to do today. I need to, we're gonna do it next. We're gonna throw away MJ's bottles. I have a toddler now, you guys. It's the last time I will need bottles ever in life. And so, um, throwing away MJ's bottles. We're gonna tighten the door handle on the front door. I need to finish like cleaning my closet, hanging stuff up, wipe down the master bathroom, do some laundry. Gather bags for packing because we're actually going on a little family road trip to Chicago this coming Thursday. And I'm gonna try to get MJ packed today. So I have about five hours to get this stuff done. Let's set you guys up and let's work on the first task, which is throwing away these bottles. It makes me kinda sad, kinda, it makes me happy that he's growing up, but it makes me kinda sad because like I said, this is my last baby. Last time I'm gonna need bottles like ever in life for a baby, that is mine. And it's kind of sad. So let's do it. <laughs> bottles are headed to the trash right here Ooh, I'm a little afraid they're all going to the trash y'all. Uh, 
and this little guy is going to the trash too. His cups are going into the cabinet with the rest of the kids' cups, and I can get my little corner back in my kitchen. It's kind of sad throwing away baby stuff, it really is, especially when you know it's your last one. What's up y'all so it is way later in the day i'm about to take this makeup off because we are shiny but it is way later in the day i went and picked up the children it's uh 6 17 p.m and i'm about to get ready to i gotta take morgan's barrettes out of her hair so she can put on her softball helmet because we have a softball game tonight so um it's at 7 30 so we got about an hour to get out this house and i need to like i said take the barrettes out of her hair so that's the next the next task on the list guys so it is the next day oh, I ain't had no energy to do anything last night we got back from that softball game so we're gonna do some things today um, I've been avoiding it it's about 10 o'clock in the morning but I just had my coffee I'm still drinking it I'm in the middle of trying to edit a video watching children and also watching top model on Netflix 
So, um, what I need to do today, okay, let me tell you. We have a birthday party to go to at, we need to leave by four. It is 10.17, so I have about six hours to do what I need to do, get everyone dressed, get out of the house. So, what I wanted to tackle today, we need some WD-40, first of all, because these doors are a mess. But what I wanted to tackle today was this guy. We cannot even walk in here. Y'all remember how excited I was when we moved into this house? And I was like, oh my God, we have this walk-in pantry? Well, we have just made a mess, a mockery of the walk-in pantry. And it was never properly organized when we moved in. Why are we yelling? Get out of here. <laughs> it was never properly organized when we moved in. So I think now and today is the time to do it. If I could get it done in like two or three hours. And then I also need to clean off the stove and also clean the cabinet. So um, there's a lot to do, not a lot of time to do it. So let's get started. Tell them I need my money right now Brought me the juice, they stole out my crown hey. Sorry to tell you I know my value I'm gonna recoup yeah. But don't waste my energy, my energy I don't got much, don't be wasting all my energy Keep it tight, don't let nobody get close to me My heart is right, don't question my integrity No, I thought we would be just fine And I thought your heart was like mine But let me find out, you've been going around throwing shit Okay, I'm going to tackle this guy You guys, we have our little snack rack here Which is all patchy And I need to organize Then we have y'all this is just i cannot i can't live like this anymore we can't even walk in here how it got like this please don't ask me because i don't know but it's not about to stay like this i can't do this anymore this is about to be a two three hour job um but we're gonna work it oh let's go mister mister quit my soul Give me this. No. N no. No. He is so aggressive, y'all. And he just gets into everything. Get. Hey. You. Get out of there. Why don't you go upstairs with your sisters? Uh -uh. No. No. He's so fake. Look at him. On to the next thing. Get, what are you doing? Get. Quit licking that. Oh my God. Y'all, he is going to drive me crazy. Quit licking that. He gonna drive me crazy. I'm telling you. This is all I do all day. No, quit. I forgot how this was. I forgot how this having a toddler was. But I am not on it. Get out of there. And he don't listen for nothing. Get. No, no. Let's get started. Cats running, plots, come on, man. Try to block my blessings. But no need for comparisons. What's from me will be from me. Yeah. I'ma go through, just to grow through. But pay me what you owe me for, I make what you've been saying about me. True. 
true Tell them I need my money right now Brought me the juice, they stole out my crown Sorry to tell you I know my value I'm gonna recoup it Don't waste my loyalty Loyalty, I let you in back then because I couldn't see But now it's clear you ain't ever been true to me My intuition ain't ever lied, I had to leave Handle your business, do what you think you need to do to get your revenge But you won't Woo, y'all, this is a task in itself, okay? We're about halfway done getting this cleared out And oh my god, like seriously, we're running out of place to put things Look at all of this stuff that was in there. And we're only about halfway done. This is crazy. And I got my little helper here. Mariah came down to help me. This one just acting a fool. I don't know what he's doing. But Mariah came down to help me out. Let's go, Beans. Let's finish it strong. Don't break me, God, that's my witness That's the point of no return, I'm on a mission Tryna block my blessings But no need for comparisons What's from me will be from me Yeah I'ma go through Just to go through But pay me All empty Y'all, that in itself took like 45 minutes Seriously my god and it is disgusting like this is just nasty <laughs> the way like all this is crumbs on the floor there's like baby puffs on the floor first of all i think we need to paint this at some point too we need to really paint this entire house but like all the scratches on the walls from like the boxes hitting the walls. They paint your house with flat paint um, from our builder and then flat paint you can't really wash or cleanse or you'll scratch the paint off pretty much. So we really need to paint this house at some point. I think we could probably tackle this um, pantry ourselves, but it's, yeah, this is a hot mess. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sweep it, I'm gonna mop it and then we can start putting this stuff back in. Like, this is just nasty. It's worse than I thought. Ugh. What you owe me for, I make what you've been saying by me. True. True. Tell them I need my money right now. Tell them I need my money. Brought me the juice, they stole out my crown.
check in here oh I've been working my butt off but we're making our way through so this is what we look like so far I put all the cereal in this corner right here pop tarts I'm trying to keep the breakfast stuff in one area so I have um, we'll have snacks here too like popcorn and then I have like all of our paper products right here probably could have organized this a little better but you know what y'all I'm just trying to get done at this point um, Ziploc bags foil and stuff and then I have our hot chocolate the girls hot chocolate and then oatmeal for me right there and so we can keep the breakfast stuff in one place I have they're juice boxes and ramen noodles and then all of my cranberry juices down here and then up here like at the top I have some of the like the baking stuff so sugar flour there's like brown sugar powdered sugar all that in there fish fry some ketchup we haven't opened yet um, pasta noodles there this is like all of the like instant sides that we have so different like rice sides ma instant mashed potatoes stuff like that I have in here and then in here I just have like random kind of random stuff like this these pizza kits for the kids granola crouton there's like pickles in there tuna packs stuff like that in there I'm still trying to figure out what to do with I don't know as I go through everything I'll figure out what to do with this stuff like this sauce needs to come out here and this oatmeal probably needs to come out but I'm still trying to figure out what to do with stuff like peanut butter jelly stuff like that I have canned goods here and that's it so far um, we still have I mean we've cleared off a lot but there's still quite a few things to go and then I'm still trying to figure out where to put like the small appliances so their air fryer was in there the like instant pot was in there the toaster and then of course all this stuff that's still sitting out and then here's the trash I'm gonna get Mari to take that out and yeah we're 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 rolling though we're rolling it's about 118 so I'm trying to work as fast as I can until 2 and see where I'm at at 2. I really need to get the kids ready for a birthday party that we're going to today. So, I don't know. We'll see how much I get done. But, let's keep going. It's so unfair to you. excited y'all because I've been working on this all day I'm telling you so I'm gonna give you a little tour let's give you a little tour 
I have refilled the snack rack. So if you guys don't know, this is just a shoe rack that I picked up from Amazon. It was 10 bucks and it's been so handy. I put it on the inside of the pantry so the kids are able to go in and grab their own snacks and I don't necessarily always have to be down here getting them snacks. They can reach their own stuff and it's just been super handy and it makes them really independent. And then moving into the pantry, this looks, y'all, <laughs> does this not look 20 times better and cleaner? I still feel like I probably could have organized it a little better, but you know what? I'm no master organizer. I just love this because it actually looks like we have space in here. It looks as big as it is now and we can actually see what we have and hopefully use it. We wasted so much food. I threw away so much food. It was sickening you guys. And I'm, I'm like really embarrassed that we wasted all that food. So I'm really going to make a conscious effort to make sure we know what's in here and use up the stuff that we have. So on the floor here, we have a lot of like small appliances, like a pressure cooker. We have the air fryer. They have an easy bake oven right there. So there's just a lot of, oh, there's another like little grill down here. A lot of small appliances that I really don't know what to do with. So I have to like work that out in my head, but I put most of them on the floor. We use the air fryer quite a lot. We don't use the pressure cooker as much, but it is what it is. We also have extra trash bags down here. I have my dusters and then our like Swiffer wet jet extra like liquid down there. I put all the oil over here, olive oil, vegetable oil, stuff like that. And then we always have like bulk snacks and juice boxes because I have a lot of kids. So I have that just sitting in the corner. And then these are all of my cranberry juices. I am obsessed with these. If you guys didn't know, every time I go to the store, I buy a few of them. So I just sit them over here in this corner. Moving up to the next row. Let's take this whole little, this whole little corner. This entire side here, um, I tried to make breakfast food as well as like paper products. So up here, I just put all the cereal, the box cereal, there's pancakes, pop tarts. And then on the second row, I use my little cereal cups. And then I also have my kind energy bars. I just kind of threw over there as well, which I think I might move them over here in this empty space by the other snacks. But um, I have oatmeal in here. We have, this is my Kodiak oatmeal. I have uh, some hot chocolate for the girls because they love hot chocolate. So we have the paper products, spoons, forks, knives, plates, bowls, cups, all that stuff. And then I also have like foil, cling wrap, and Ziploc bags. I put some snacks under here. So this is all popcorn, my Boom Chicka Pop, which is one of my favorite little low calorie snacks, microwave popcorn, and then my kernel popcorn. That's the only popcorn I use is the popcorn on top of the stove because it's so good. And then I put more of my Quaker Oats there. I have some condiments here, which I think I'm actually going to move these two over here. But this is just some syrup i have some country time lemonade mix and then my starbucks cold brew concentrate coffee back there um a box of what is this um a box of tupperware and then we have snacks and potatoes in there and then some more like toppings like peanut butter jelly all that stuff Oh, then there's really not much else. I mean, I put the medicine in here. We have sticks because the kids love to make s'mores outside. Mari's Top Ramen. Protein powder. Extra ketchup. All the baking stuff. I only have a little bit of pasta, so I just put it there. These are all of my sides. All of, like, I showed you guys this. Granola, tuna, croutons, all that stuff salad dressings and pizza sauce alfredo sauce all of my canned goods which most of it is just like canned fruit like canned pineapple chunks but we also have like cream of chicken soup i think there's a chicken noodle soup down there there's a tomato soup there canned milk some coconut milk bread and then the tundra fire extinguisher spray some sanitizer spray and then sanitizing wipes and that is it, y'all. 
Oh, I'm so giddy. I am so excited because this just looks so good. Oh. So you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. It is 2.52. I made my three o'clock deadline right in the nick of time to get these kids ready so we can all head out the house. Thank you guys so much for watching this Get It All Done. If you like these videos, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you have any tasks or rooms or anything that you want to see me clean or organize or get done, let me know down below and I'll try to include it in one of the future Get It All Done videos. I love making these videos because it forces me to be productive and it forces me to get things done i love you guys so so much thank you so much for watching our channel and we'll see you in the next video bye guys